I think you all know what happened. It's the apocalypse. My fellow countrymen, I am here once again to remind you that the fear that has been cultivated in this great nation is completely unfounded. Chancellor is a monster. These so-called storms are no different than the ones experienced by our ancestors, and they're certainly no different than the ones that we all experience under the reign of my predecessor. The Chancellor is a liar. The media would have you believe that these storms are dangerous. That is simply not the case. You know it. And I know it. What I know is the truth. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to announce our rolling back of environmental protections and introduction of nuclear energy testing. The Chancellor's energy policy is created in radioactive storms that are destroying our planet. And now, over 187,000 of his countrymen are dead. I'm telling you, these storms just aren't real. And that's why this Chancellor must Chancellor Yes, Mom. Now can I wait until Yeah, 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 fine, fine, fine. I'll be right on. Hi, honey. I just wanted to check up on you to see how you're doing. Yeah, Mom, I'm, I'm fine, but uh, I really need to get back to work. I'm trying to bring down the man. Oh, blah. You can take a few minutes from fighting the man to talk to your mother. Mom, the earth is deteriorating day by day. Radiation is filling the streets. We actually don't know how much time we have left. What's up, what's up? I'm so happy to see you. How's your cat doing? Uh, lives one through nine, all gone. So thanks for asking. He's dead. Oh, that's right. Um, ugh. and where's your fiance? Also dead. Not literally, but, well, maybe, I don't know. I don't really care. See, this is why you guys need to call me more. Why did none of you come to visit me? Maybe because the air is poison? Oh, this again. Nate. Nate, do you really believe this? Honestly. Axe, the skies are glowing red. That's not normal. <laughs> That's you, sheep. You love, love the mainstream media, don't you? Axe, I am the media. That's exactly why I don't trust you. I mean, it's a proven fact that the skies change color every few centuries. You know it, and I know it. No, no. Axe is right. The sky changing color is proof that the great Arceus is watching over us. Change into a fire type. Holy shit, Cal, is that you? Well, <laughs> when did you get here? <sighs> what have you been up to, honey? <sighs> Psst, Mom. Cal joined a death cult. I mean, we're all about to die, so aren't we all really in a death cult? Cal, you believe some crazy bullshit. Yeah, at least I'm not a conspiracy theorist like Nate. I'm the conspiracy theorist. Axe doesn't even believe it's the apocalypse when the skies are raining literal fire. That's just Arceus using his flamethrower attack. Are you talking about a Pokemon? Yeah. This is getting out of hand. No, uh, what's out of hand is local officials telling me that I can't leave my house when I need to go to work. They're trying to keep you alive. Well, it's hard to feel alive without uh, any freedom whatsoever. It's not about your freedom, Axe. It's about not dying. Like Dad? Just like Dad. That's it, isn't it? Hey, everyone. I think Mom wants to talk about Dad. Boys, it's been a year. Yes, it's been a year. 
And I've spent that year, every day, trying to bring down the man who killed him. The rest of you won't even acknowledge that what killed him is real. It's real. Of course it's real. Honestly, what difference does it make that how he died? He's not here. And I had to confront the idea of getting married without my father by my side. And that's why my fiance left me. And you think going after the man in charge is gonna bring him back? It won't. It won't. Actually, Arceus is in charge. The, the Chancellor's no real power. Sorry. X, I know it won't bring him back, but I'm just trying to hold someone, anyone, accountable. Your father loved all of you boys. Ha! <laughs> Really, he did. He wasn't always able to express it, but you were the reason he was able to push through as long as he did. I miss him. Having a family reunion just doesn't feel the same without him. Your father was an integral part of this family, Nate. But even with him gone, we still have each other. Yeah, but we're a mess. I can't remember the last time I didn't fight with every one of you. It could be because you're an asshole. But we still love you. And Arceus loves you too. <laughs> I never got to tell Dad that I loved him. Of course you did. No, Mom, I missed my opportunity to make things right. I couldn't even visit him on his deathbed because of his stupid restrictions. So you didn't get to say those words to his face? You still told him you loved him every single time you called him, went to a game with him, grabbed a beer with him? You just said it in a different way. When the world stood still, when we started to lose loved ones to a tragedy that was preventable, many of us lost the opportunity to appropriately say goodbye to those we love. But we can't let this tragedy keep us from being a family.